Sit back, relax your eye, ready now while you make studios. It's the Danny Brown Show, we about to get live, let's go. It's the Danny Brown Show, sit back, relax your eye, ready now while you make studios. It's the Danny Brown Show, we about to get live, let's go. Yo, 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 what's up, doe? Coming to y'all live here at Wild May Studios in beautiful Austin, Texas. It's the Danny Brown Show. I got the booth boys with me. What's up, fellas? What's going on, Danny? What's going on, man? What's up? How y'all been doing, man? Great. Chilling. Yeah. Chilling. Been... I ain't gonna lie. I, I haven't been having the best week or well, a few weeks, man. I don't know. Why? What's up? I mean, stuff been going so good. I just, I don't know. I, I know, you know, being sober and shit, um, some days gonna be harder than others, but. I literally been like, man, I just been angry for no reason, man. Like I've been a little attitude. I think I think it's because I'm on a no fap. So it, it's yeah, starting. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to get the best of me, but I'm holding on strong, brothers. I'm uh, two weeks off of uh, smoking. I quit. Oh shit! So, Congratulations. Yeah, I've, been, I've been pretty irritable myself. No, but I've been I, I've been on that. Like, man, maybe I need to start smoking weed again. Wait, but, what's your what's your streak? Uh, my no fap streak. Yeah. It's just been a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a streak. <laughs> but it's killing me. The retention's good for you, though, right? That's what they say. But until you shoot a motherfucker. <laughs> but I've been, I've been having a great, I've been having a great few weeks. Um, I, w- I was in New York for um, Frost Fest. Shout out to Frost Children. And everything went fucking great. Um, I was able to um, meet with my management. You know, we've got the deal redone. So I'm so. Played them the new album or what I've been working on. Everything was positive with that. So super happy about that, man. Just been chilling, man, for the most part. I got my daughter in town this week. So we've been hanging out. But yeah, man, I've been I've been killing. It it it's been really hard, man. So But yeah, we got a new look in here, man. I'm really happy about that. How y'all digging the place? You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to y'all for whipping this up, man. So yeah, we're still making adjustments, but yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. Like, it looks great, have a man. more relaxed kind of, you know, chair, sit down kind of vibe. Yeah, I like the um, the cow. Neanna mm-hmm. picked that out. Yeah, shouts out Nene. All right, um, we're gonna start it off. We just going ahead. Let's spin the motherfucking wheel. Almost is on them sweaty balls. That's that no fap. All right, Stephen Hawking. That's cuz in the wheelchair, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I really. What, what does Stephen Hawkins do? I just always just see him looking retarded. I mean, my bad. I don't wanna, <laughs> my bad. I don't want to. Uh, but yeah, he be that only be typing and shit. Yeah, and he be. T- but then he get caught up in some in some. He got caught up in some nasty allegations not too long ago, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, Come man. Come on, man. Not Stephen Hawking. Did, didn't he? You didn't hear about that, Andy? Yeah. I didn't hear about it. I don't want to hear about yeah, it. Yeah, he got caught up in some nastiness, man. Some 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 not so cool shit. So, yeah, fuck Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I think this is my Santa Claus isn't real moment. God I mean, you, that was your boy? I mean... <laughs> oh shit i just come on man like you (laughs) you you too yeah he got caught up in some nastiness man i mean i ain't gonna lie if i was sitting in a chair like that with a computer in front of my face all the goddamn time i'd definitely be beating this motherfucker going crazy so but yeah stephen hawkins man i I really don't what does stephen hawkins do uh, he was a scientist, you know, they made a movie about him, Theory of Everything. He, theory of Relativity, that was his thing? No, I think it was... The Theory of Everything. Uh, Why does it say Stephen Hawking obituary? Ain't the nigga still living? No, he passed away. Oh, did he? Yeah. I oh, shit. Last See, year. I don't know shit about no Stephen. Y'all be y'all be putting craziness on the wheel, and I think this is what y'all be wanting out of me. For real, because I don't know nothing about no Stephen Hawking, man. I just, you know... I've seen him a few times pop up, and he be don't he be typing with the computer and shit, and he be saying what he want to say and all that. But astrophysicist, yeah, man, Stephen Hawkins, man. So he got caught up in in the nastiness after he died. 
Oh right, because he was on the he was on the list, right? He, I Epstein mean, list? yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Man. Oh, look at him! God damn it! That's, yeah, man. I think they even like said that he got up out of the chair at some point and started yeah, doing some. Nasty you were burning hell. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so he was capping too. Come on. <laughs> you were burning hell, man. Yeah, he was hanging out with Epstein on the island. Epstein, a nasty motherfucker, even invite this nigga, man. All right, man, we get out of this, man. I'm, I'm, this is, we're going to do some Ask Danny's, man, because this is getting too far. You can always hit me up at Danny at the Danny Brown Show. That's Danny at the Danny Brown Show. Um, first up, we got Coming Blood. Ask Danny. Yo, Danny, shout out to you and the booth boys and girls. The other day I was spanking a monkey, and when I busted, a little blood came out. Needless to say, it scared the fuck out of me. I have a doctor appointment next week to make sure everything okay with my manhood, and I'm sort of freaking out. Have you ever had this happen to you? Shouts out to Big Mike. No, the fuck not. I never had this um, happen to me. And uh, if, if blood's coming out of anything that is not supposed to, it's obviously you've been doing something a little too much. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what's up with you. you. You definitely need to go see a doctor. But I don't know. Maybe you might be trolling. Is this a thing? It's a thing. I remember someone asking about it on uh, Dr. Drew a long time ago. Just... So is that coming from beating your shit? I don't think that's because I've, I've definitely tested the limits. If, if I recall, uh, uh, it's nothing to be super worried about, I guess. Yes, it is something to be super worried about. What are we talking about right now, man? I'm not a doctor. Don't ask me. I don't if know. blood came out of my dick, man, I'm, dog, I'm starting to write my will. That's like, <laughs> that's, that's like really concerning shit, man. Anything coming out your dick besides piss, man, is, is very troubling and very worrying, man. Not, so. What about semen? I said, I mean, that's babies. That's how babies get made. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, well, piss and semen, you know. But blood, <laughs> I think blood's coming out of anything that's not, you know, just blood in general. I'm not a blood guy, man. That's not like, no, I'm not a blood guy. All right, next up we got Never Fool. Yo, what's up, Danny? Have you ever achieved something that you've been dreaming about? And then feel no real fulfillment. How do you deal with this? Shots out to Nick V. I think everybody kind of go through that in some sense. Like, you know, because cause it's like pros and cons to everything that you want. And sometimes you just want something so bad and you finally get it. And you're like, damn, this is this what I was, you know. That's like me. I, I, I feel like I'm like that with um clothes and, you know, like certain shit. I always be like, man, I'm, I'm a, I am I'm buy some shit and I be like, this is my last time. This is my last time. Then I see something else, and I'm like, oh, shit. All right, I'm, I'm going to cop this. I'm, it's always my last time, but I was literally talking to my um, homeboy scholar, my DJ, Skywalker, and I was like, man, we were talking about watches and shit. And I was, you know, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to grab this watch, and then uh, that's going to be my last watch I'm going to grab. I ain't buying no more watches for, for a long time. Then I was thinking about it, and I was like, damn, but I do want this other watch. And I was like, it never ends. You know, you're always buying shit, and it never ends. So I've been kind of trying to chill on buying shit but no but even with that like um yeah it's just like some shit you just gotta just give up and just accept what it is you know like fuck i'm gonna just always like even this week um i was like man i'm not buying no more clothes i'm not buying i bought shit this week i bought some shit but i did tell you i have i have not been feeling my best and been kind of down for, for i don't know for some reason i just be waking up in the morning i'd be like and i've been doing my meditation shit I've been, you know, going to jog in the morning and shit. And I and it was really good for the for, for the first time I had um even when I went to New York, I went to Norway, I had stuck to my routine the entire time I was gone. But I got back home and I don't know, I just haven't been and I was like, man, maybe, you know, like I said, maybe got something to do with being sober and shit now and I haven't been having I just been working and working and working and working. I can't say I've been having much fun, you know? So maybe I need to just take a break and I don't know. Do some. Fun. I haven't even really been playing video games, even though fucking um, NBA 2K is coming soon. How long has it been since you had pluckers? Maybe that's it. I haven't been eating. Oh, I mean, I've been pretty. I've been really kind of eating healthy, to be honest. I haven't really been eating. I, I kind of went crazy a little bit in New York. It's kind of hard to be in New York and not get a chopped cheese. But I was. I really regretted it. I was like constipated for like two days after that goddamn chopped cheese. So I was like, man, maybe. You know, eating healthy has been working out for me. Like, even before I came here, I just ate a shit ton of fruit. 
I'm never been a fruit guy, but I just, you know, we getting that age. I'm at that age now, man, where certain shit, like I can't just be, like that chopped cheese fucked me up, man. So I, I gotta just be, and that that has been going good because it's to the point now where I eat, if I eat something crazy, like we was in, um, we was in Norway. No, we was in Amsterdam. I think we was in whatever, one of those fucking airports and they had a TGI Fridays. I'm like, oh shit, I ain't never seen a Fridays outside of America, you know? And I can't say I eat Friday. I used to eat it a lot when I was younger, but I was like, fuck it, let's go get these Fridays. And I was in there, I was like, fuck, it's like 10 in the morning. And I ate like a full rack of ribs and shit. And I felt horrible. I felt horrible after that, man. So every time I do eat something that I know that's fucked up for me, I, I don't, I, I regret it every time. So it's starting to, you know, set in my mind and shit. Like I can't fucking eat this shit. All right, next up we got She Playing Games. Hey, Danny, my girl thinks video games are for lames. But other than that, she's great. I like to really share my love for gaming with her, but she always has pushbacks. Are there any games that you play with women or know of a way that I can approach the problem? Shouts out to Jeremiah. I think that's just a thing. Like, I mean, some girls just don't fuck with games. And that's, that is what it is. I don't really think you can kind of like sell her on that idea. I mean, it's great to have a have a girl that's into video games and shit. I've been in a few of those relationships because, you know, you can go do your thing. She can go do her thing or whatever. But like I say, I haven't really been playing games as much. I am excited about, it's a new Atlas game coming out called Metaphor. And everybody know I'm such a fucking Atlas fan. So I'm really excited. I, I think it comes out in October. I haven't seen much people talking about it, which is the weird thing. But I think far as like girls playing, I think only only game girls play is like Mario Kart or like Sims. You got to buy her like the Sims, man. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is a good girl game. Um yeah, I think that's it, man. But for the most part, man, if you got a girl that's not really fucking fucking with the games and shit, depending on how much you care about her, if you don't give a fuck what the bitch think, then fucking game all day. But it definitely does take away the time that y'all spend together. You know, especially if you're a motherfucker that... It's some people, man, that they really fucking play video games all fucking day. I was that guy. And I, and I realized that when I played games that much, I was depressed as fuck, you know? And you never, when I'm happy and I'm doing shit and I got everything going for me, last thing I'm fucking thinking about is a fucking video game, you know? Like, I've been fucking, I buy games every week and I start to play them and I'll be like, man, fuck this shit. And go back and play NBA 2K. I've been playing college football a little bit, but like, even with me getting um, Shin Megami Tenchu, I, I probably got like 10 hours in that game. And I've been like, man, I'm not even really, it's not holding me the same way as Persona does. I know a lot of people was telling me, I should play it because I love Persona so much. But yeah, man, it's like, even when I, I bring my Steam Deck on the road with me, I, I play when I'm on a flight sometimes. But I've been working on this album so much that I think that's been kind of fucking with my game in a little bit. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. So yeah, I've been, it's really, and I've been doing a lot of like, um, like a lot of shit that I wouldn't do normally with making an album where I'd be like, man, just let the label handle it or let the, um, you know, my management handle it and shit. I've been kind of taking a more hands-on approach with this project and really I'm really fucking confident in what I got right now. I just still want like, I still got like a few more songs that I want to work on. And then I think I'm going to start the mixing process then. Cause it's like, um, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to feel like, do I have like, like what I was always, always talk about with other artists come on here. Like when you get too many songs, then you don't know what is what and what, it, you know, and I don't want to sit, I don't want to sit on it too long where I just start to overthink myself because I'm just so happy with what I got now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and push the button, man, and just start. I got two more songs, two, three more songs that I really want to record because it's people I want to work with. But for the most part, man, I'm really, I'm, I listen to it every day. Like that's what's been taking up my free time. I've been listening to myself. I haven't really been listening to other people. I did listen to that, um, that, Mag, that, that Magdalena Bay album today. So I kind of, you know, all right. I'm rambling. Next one, Bad Breath B. Yo, Danny, I recently started dating a girl and I really like her. She's cool. We have a solid, She has a solid sense of humor and cute as hell. We only been out a few times. And although we really connected, I have trouble figuring out what I want to continue seeing her because I can't get over her breath. It's been a problem each time we've met. And it's made kissing, talking closely really a challenge. As I said, I really like her. Should I just suck it up and not say anything or should I bring it up to her next time we suck and face? Any advice? On how to talk to her is appreciated. Piss on me, beat me, shots out to John. No, nah, funky breath bitch gotta go. No, nah, ain't no conversation needs to be had. Ain't nothing need to be talked about. Um, no, I'm not dealing with no funky breath. 
imagine if the shoe was on the other foot. She wouldn't fuck with you if your breath was banging. I, I just, that's like the one thing that I, I can't get over, like fucking with a female, and that would be um, bad hygiene. It's really and, hard. And it's probably, I mean, it's, it's probably a problem. Like when some, most people like have bad breath or some shit, she probably got like some type of, you know, mouth disease or something, gingivitis, with, with halitosis, some, yeah. it's some, probably something there. If you were to tell them about it, how would you do that? I wouldn't, I, ain't no, I don't want to smell it no more. I don't want her to answer any question that I got for her or say anything to her. Once the breath is banging, I'm quiet than a motherfucker, man. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to her because I don't want to hear her talk. I don't want to smell this shit no more. Like, bad breath is really, I, a bad, a person with a bad breath would make me not like them. And I'm not, you know, like, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, you got to really take care of that shit, man. I've had fucked up teeth my entire life, man. And, even now with the fucking, with these fake ass teeth, man, I, I, I'm i on it all, all the fucking time. So mints and shit, she can put a fucking mint in there. They got some, you can go on Amazon, they got some powerful shit. You know, they got Banaka. So I, I also, it, she probably don't give a fuck because I'm pretty sure if she got some funky ass breath, she know it. Like, you know when your breath stink, you know when you're not up to cold. So for her to be out in public kicking it with you, she a nasty bitch and she don't care about you. The way you think, because she would be doing anything to possibly hide that shit, man. So I would say I wouldn't, I would give up. I would just tap out on that funky breath. Would you date a girl with funky breath, Chad? No, I mean. Would you talk to her about it? it no, I wouldn't have the balls to do that. I would feel so bad. You know, I, just, I did before in the past. I started dating someone that had bad breath, and I just slowly distanced myself, which is probably not the right move. I probably should have said something, but, you know. You know, I just can't. It, it's a big turnoff. When a girl got bad breath, I think she's sucking too many dicks. I'm like, that's all them different dicks. That's all them different dicks in your mouth. All these different smells and shit coming together, man. You just, you just sucking off too many of the, of the wrong dudes. So in my head, I'm like, this is the dick sucking bitch, nasty breath. So yeah, I, I can't deal with that. So I'm sorry to tell you, but you got to move on. All right. We got a freestyle. Let me hear you bust a freestyle. Yeah, we do. Um, so, yeah, this was captured on camera the other day here in the office, actually. Really? You already know what I'm trying to do. Stick with the wine, make sure I'm a motherfucker, nigga, I'm coming through. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. This is the most embarrassing yeah. one in my fucking life. Go, Tim. Hey, you said we could play it. No, I didn't. All right, yes, Annie. You did. Any busting out the bars now? That's crazy though, man. We I have a lot of her. we have a lot of people here at YMA Studios that are, are very um, musically talented. Heather's working on some music. I started recording my album. I yeah. know. Tanner it's, plays drums. I know. That's what I'm saying. Is everybody's in here very musically inclined? And we got any busting bars now? I got the rhythm. I ain't got no bars, but I got the rhythm. You know what I'm saying? I think rapping has become it's, it's fun to rap, right? It is fun. As fun. Yeah, like yeah. it's nothing worse. Like I say, it is nothing worse than being drunk at a party and you with that one guy that keeps oh. freestyling. Every I've had that experience. <laughs> I have that experience a lot, or or just being in a wild. You know, like me, I could just be in a wild and somebody be like, "Hold on, let me spit something for you." They're like, nigga, no. <laughs> no <laughs> I, had not- a, I had a white friend in like small town Nebraska who would always do that, and it was. Just so awkward every time. I'm like, all right, hurry up, finish this. Finish it's always it. the same bars from those dudes too. It's Get always drunk. the same bars. They got to keep going back to the to the. They got this one. Everybody like they they always have this one like punchline that they yep. just keep going to. <laughs> every like, fuck. And they just keep when they can't think of shit and they go back <laughs> to it. That's why I, I mean, but to to be good at freestyling is really an art. Like me, I I you know I can write raps, but if you was to tell me to freestyle, I wouldn't be no better than you right there, any. <laughs> I'm being honest. Like I I can't fucking. And I used to be good at it when I was younger, but I think once you just start learning so many tricks, because rapping is just like anything else. It's, it's, tick, it's, you know, it's a lot of like tricks and tips and shit that you can use to implement in your writing that make the process easier for you and make you better at it. So once you got that shit in your arsenal, it's kind of hard to just like free will that shit and do that shit. Well, we probably should have subtitled side, titled the video because some of the lines were actually, if we couldn't hear them really because it's so far away, but some of the lines were pretty good actually. <laughs> So like I say, we got so many people in the um, 
office that are very musically talented. So we're going to jump into some music questions for y'all, man. What, um, who has the worst music taste in the office? In the office? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I could if I could hurt my people like that. I, I don't know. Really? I don't know. Any yeah. any you got you we I rode around with you one time. You had a little dope playlist playing. Oh uh, man, you know So how, you got some good taste in rap and shit. I've told people multiple times that that was like one of the most nervous parts of my life. Why? Because I, I got this dope <laughs> fucking bro. One of my favorite fucking artists is in my car. I'm like, what the fuck do I put on? I've never been so nervous to put music on before. But like, see, that's the I thing. Hope he doesn't hate my shit, man. <laughs> but the music that I listen to, I probably put that shit all around y'all. Y'all be like, "What the fuck is he listening to?" Why, you know? Chad came to my career one time. I was playing the shit I listened to. He like, "Oh shit!" No, I thought it was great. And it reminded me of some stuff I used to listen to back in Omaha. But uh, yeah, and he pulled up one time, listen like blaring Tool, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. I guess we could. If anyone in the uh, studio is listening, if you think someone has bad taste here, you could slack me. Yeah, because because I don't know. I, I actually don't I, think anyone. Here I probably has have the worst taste. music taste in here, to be honest. <laughs> if we really just be, I mean, the shit I listen to, I don't think anybody else would probably listen to that shit. I will say, you know? I was riding with Chris one time, and we have very different ideas of what we like. You but, know? but see, I remember this. It's because see, like he was just playing it safe. He just wanted to play it safe. But I don't know. I, I don't think Zolo would have a dope playlist for me. <laughs> I just thought about that. I I could just see. <laughs> I don't know what he throw on, man. I I could just really. I would I would be surprised, man. Not my boy, man. Yeah, man. And if he would, what if like Zolo was listening to a little Dirk or something? I'd be like, I don't know. This feels a little. It's feeling a little crazy right now, you know. He, I'm pretty sure he does have yeah, like gangster rap every time. Yeah, that's why I'd be like, oh man, what it's is like this trap music? Yeah, every time. <laughs> that would be even worse, you know. I would want him to listen to some Lana Del Rey or something. I did always wonder. I would get in his car and it would always be trap shit. I'm like, is this for me? <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this what you listen to or is this for me? Like, be Well, anytime putting on like music with someone coming over or someone being around, it's always a little bit like, ah, normally it shouldn't take me this long to pick something, but it's like I do kind of wonder what they'll think about it. Yeah. No, I don't be giving a fuck. I'm a literally, you about to hear, you about to get this underscores. Yeah, but what's like, fun about yeah. well, you, Danny, like you'll put something on and you'll be excited to show the person what you're listening to. Yeah, and they'll be like, I don't, I can't fuck with this shit at all. <laughs> yeah, no, I I do care a lot, but I'm still going to just play what I like. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, I'll never forgive myself, but I am going to just play it anyway. <laughs> all right. Uh, was there a music guest you always excited to have on the show? Oh my God, Zach Fox, bro! Oh Zach, Zach Fox, man, he's he's yo. Yeah, you was. I remember when we were riding around. You did have a Zach Fox song in your playlist. Mm -hmm. Zach has been killing it with the DJ on lately. Man. I know. I saw him in the boiler room. Like I'm, I'm. If, it, if it's anybody to be jealous of, it's that motherfucker, man. It's like, what the fuck can you not do? I, yo. Like he's he pissing me off, man. That's my boy. Shouts out to Zach Fox, man. But even like him doing fucking comedy, then he's fucking acting. And then, you know, he he jump up and fucking start rapping and the fucking rapping is good. Now this motherfucker is killing fucking Boiler Room. Like, what the fuck? He he inspired me. I think I'm about to buy me some CDJs. I'm like, what the fuck? This motherfucker can do it, man. That's not even a thing like that. But Bro, I just, you'd be the dopest DJ. I think <laughs> so. But I wouldn't, um, I, I wouldn't just hop out there off rip. I, no, I'll, of I'll probably like, you know, fuck around with it for, um. A few years or something before I start, but I am. I'm about to get when I when I get my new crib, I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and get a CDJ set up, man, and just start fucking around, man. That's what uh, that's what Zach Fox said too. He was like, "Don't be calling this my motherfucking side quest, man. Like I've I've been trying this shit. I've been practicing on this shit. Like I take it seriously." So, yeah, I, yeah, cause cause it's really, I mean, to be I feel like to be a cool DJ, it's not really like playing with the room want to hear kind of shit, but playing playing what you fuck with and, and eventually take them into your world because it's almost like your personality and some shit mm -hmm. and if they fuck with that you know what i'm saying they fuck with you so i think and i feel like as far as like my musical taste and shit i feel like i got a cool aesthetic in there somewhere just even me growing up in detroit with with all the ghetto tech shit and you know how much i have so much of fucking you know huge love for fucking you know edm music and and you know pop music and shit and also hip-hop shit and rock music as well you know so so, I was kind of excited for um because uh, I listened to them growing up, uh, Jimmy World. Yeah, I, I was excited for them to come on, but it was very they were it was a very different like two worlds kind of colliding that were like different vibes, you know. Like I think I was them. the um, most excited for Q to come on. 
Cause Cube, that's my, I mean, that's my friend. I haven't seen him in years. You know, even though we didn't get a chance to hang out, he been fucking running around like crazy. But just from how much time we have spent earlier in our career, and just to see where we're both at now, it was just almost like, man, like you know, it was just really a, a happy moment for me, man. Cause he's been, you know, a part of a lot of shit I've done. Like when I was doing um, Danny's house, he came on there, and you know, been a part of, part of a lot of my albums and shit. So. Just to see him again, you know, and, you know, just like any friends, we we've had our falling outs and shit. So to still see that we can still be cool and and be buddies and shit, that was that was really great to have him on here. And it was just you know, just that one thing, man. Just to see how much he's fucking, he's changed in his life. You know, Q used to be a fucking monster, man. I swear, like our first tour together, we used to be fucked up all the time. He even like increased my weed intake. Like, I remember being on tour with him and how much he fucking smoked. I'd be like, man, anybody that smokes this much, it has to be something wrong. Like, no one, but then I was smoking just like him. And then I remember coming off that tour and being home and I was like, fuck, I was smoking just like that. I could, I didn't slow down. But smoking that much weed, I mean, obviously he still fucking smokes and shit, but that's my boy, man. All right. Um. So um, if you could have any artists on the show, like, who would it be? Hmm. It's kind of a tough one. Um, it would probably be someone who's actually not that well known, but like, I would probably choose the band The Faint because they're from Omaha, and I think it would be cool to have someone lesser known on a show like this that I like grew up listening to. Mm-hmm. But in terms of big people, that's that's hard to. No, pick. for me, I'm gonna go big. I want I want Lady Gaga to come over here and sit on this motherfucker. That's been my crush forever. But no, I, I really do. Um, I love Lady Gaga, man. I um, I actually haven't seen the, the Joker. Is she about to be in the next Joker? Yeah. Yeah, so I watched the Joker on the plane because I know I'm going to go see that shit because she in it. But shouts out Lady Gaga, man. Whenever you want to pull up, holla at your boy. I got a seat right here for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> for real, I love my, I love Lady Gaga, man. So what y'all listen to around the studio? Or any who you want to pull up? Uh I mean you ain't you ain't gonna like my answer though. Why? Cause I already I already uh recommended it. Oh, Soldier Boy? <laughs> <laughs> bro, you talking to Soldier Boy, man. I It'd love Soldier Boy. Bro. I love Soldier Boy, man. <laughs> Soldier Boy is the fucking legend, man. I, I that would be my number one. I, I would love to have Soldier Boy on the show. That'd be crazy. Soldier Boy is just crazy, man. Like, he is crazy. He 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 be getting into too much. That's that's what scares me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say the wrong thing to Soldier Boy. And then <laughs> the last thing you want to do is get beat up by Soldier Boy. Man. Like it'll be over for me, you know. Sounds like a good show. <laughs> Soldier Boy is great though, man. Like if you really look at it, like everything that's going on in music, like far as what the kids doing, how they so DIY. It's like he was like the first of that. You know, you can't take that from him, man. And I remember when he first came out and shit, people was, you know, talking shit about him. And it was like, you know, what the fuck is this? But eventually, man, you just start to see it, man. Like, no, this motherfucker's talented than a motherfucker. And not just in, in music. Like, he can, it, it, it was way more than just music with him. Like, the marketing, he his approach to shit, man. And then he was producing all that shit himself, man. Just how fucking internet savvy he was. You know, like, he he saw this shit before everybody did, man. So, shouts out to Soldier Boy, man. He's definitely a fucking, what he, he calls himself Draco now. Shouts out to Draco. He's a, uh, he's definitely a legend, man. Like, it, like if we had, like, you know, they had, like, in basketball, it'd be, like, the top 50 type shit. Like, I think Soldier Boy definitely would be, like, top 50 Hall of Famer type shit, man. Shit wouldn't be what it is right now if it wasn't for Soldier Boy. So, if anybody. Sounds like you kind of want him on. I mean. Trying to tell you. I man. wouldn't think. I, I just wouldn't think he'd pull up. Soldier Boy be like, man, y'all gotta give me twenty thousand. I ain't got twenty thousand for Soldier Boy to come kick it with me. I'll ask Tom. No man. Make it happen. <laughs> we get. Hey, we gonna pay somebody. We gonna pay Gaga to pull up. Yo, See, fuck done. that. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, man. Soldier Boy is fucking great, man. So y'all excited about Oasis getting back together, huh? Because you asked me that shit earlier, Chad. Um, I am. Yeah. I mean, I like their music. I, I'm excited. I always hated on Oasis. I mean, I, obviously I know they dope, but that whole shit with at Glastonbury with Jay Z. Well, what's that? You remember when that happened? That was um. They was, was what, just, 2009, 2008? Yeah, they was talking shit because Jay Z was headlining Glastonbury, yeah. and they were really pissed about it. And then Jay Z came out with a fucking guitar and shit playing Wonderwall, 
And they was, that was like his way of dissing oh, the back. Oh, yeah, I do yeah. remember that. So I've, I'm just being a hip-hop guy. I just always, you know, hated on Oasis with that shit. Because I feel like, in, in some sense, I don't know, it's like a racial undertone with that. To be like, why is this guy headlining glass? It's fucking gotcha. Jay-Z. How the fuck are you going to fucking say anything? I mean, I, that they are. they do seem like they're kind of assholes. Like, I mean, they beat each other up. It's more like the separate the artist from the art kind of thing for me. Yeah, man. So I don't give a fuck about no Oasis getting back together, man. I mean, they got, hey, obviously, though, it is pressure, though, for them, because they're going to have to make, like, some crazy shit, you know? Because, I mean, obviously, the hype is there just because they got back together and shit. But if the music not good, it's going to be like, oh, man. I don't think the music will be good. Maybe I'm just being pessimistic, but I think the tour would be cool. Yeah, so you think that's the whole point? They just, yeah. They got to get it back. Yeah. Like, hold up, man. Shit's slowing up. Tour we got to get good. back out there. Play the old hits. Right. Yeah, fuck that. All right. Let's spin the wheel and get up out of here. <laughs> it came back. Fucking sweaty balls. That's why you got to get your manscape together. Shouts out to manscape. They got all the products and shit for sweaty balls. But I don't know. I've never really been this um, sweaty ball kind of guy. I don't know if that's a, a thing. I, I don't know. Like, um, sweaty balls have never been, like, I don't know. Is, is that like a, do you think that has to do with, like, what you wear? Or might maybe some of it, but it's got to be also, like, hygiene and weather and genetics. It's probably a mix of things. I mean, shouts out to Manscaped. You know, they, they, they hitting you up with the, um. With all the tools and products, so I've been keeping them crispy down there. You know, they got a they got a a ball deodorant that is actually yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, the crop reviver and all that shit, man. Yeah, I've been I've been I be I be using my manscape shit, so my balls be shit. My shit looking like I'm looking young again down there. My shit looking, you know what I'm saying? I'm like I got the teenager dick down there, man. So because I've never been a shavy guy, but you know I like to keep the bush. But I've been it's been working out because you know I think I think what it is that's so good about Manscaped is that you know you shave that shit get itchy man you know that shit start growing back and you be like man this ain't worth it man so but they got it they got it together man where you can get your shit right and then it ain't itching or nothing and you know what I'm saying so but no I've been hitting I've been hitting my shit up so ain't been no sweaty balls with me man that shit been I've been keeping it intact so but I, I as far as like you saying like a hygiene thing so you mean like if you don't wash your balls enough. Yeah, it um, it'll get nasty down there, but um, yeah, I'm thinking about balls too much. Let's get up out of here, man. Let's spin the wheel one more time. Oh no, we already spin the wheel. We can spin it again. Yeah, man, cause sweaty balls, man. I don't want to leave on that note. <laughs> That's just too nasty. Even though I can't say I don't know anything about what the fuck is on here right now, Kevin Bacon. All right, um. I got to see a picture of this nigga because I know who Kevin Bacon is, but hold up, man. What's up? Kevin Bacon, man. What movie this motherfucker was? Uh, Footloose. Footloose. God damn. Kevin Bacon is still out here kicking it, though. He's t- How old they say he is? He's got to be in his 60s, I think. Damn, Kevin Bacon. Old he was in uh, Maxine just recently. Maxine. But yeah, Footloose, man. Tremors. That's... Tremors is a good one. Footloose, man. That's gay as fuck. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was, man. But loose is I was <laughs> But um, um yeah, man. But I guess he was in the new Beverly Hills cop. I haven't seen that. He was in Leave the World Behind? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was the uh the uh, survivalist movie. Survival Oh yeah, the racist motherfucker. That's yeah. right, Dan. The guy with the shotgun in the family that That's they go to. Right. Yeah. Did you see Leave the World Behind, Danny? Kevin Bacon has been in a lot of trash movies. <laughs> What are you talking about? Air up there? The the air up there, man. That you can't make that shit now, dude. Your ass is getting canceled. Stir of echoes, dog. Kevin. So Kevin Bacon is really like a a a, a D list actor in some sense, huh? I I just didn't even think about that. He's like, if if you getting Kevin Bacon in the movie, we're not thinking about no blockbuster. <laughs> we this is straight to DVD right now, man. What? But what was the Maxine movie good? What was that? I haven't seen it, but I have not heard good things. Look, yeah, Kevin Bacon trash. 
Planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, cause trash, man. That's a great movie, though. I'm saying Footloose. I mean, he was in Animal House. We'll give him that. Footloose is, is Flatliners, terrible. Tremors, like I will defend Tremors. Tremors is a great movie. Chad, man, you know that's trash. That uh-huh. shit like a Tubi movie now. Kevin Bacon. I, I kind of think I get it now. I think I think Kevin Kevin Bacon. Um, he kind of ugly motherfucker, man. If you really look at him, man. So maybe that had a lot of do, lot to do with it. Like he ain't like no Brad Pitt looking motherfucker. He ain't like no, you know what I'm saying? He's kind of ugly motherfucker, man. When you think about it, man. So it ain't throwing him in like, you know what I'm saying? He's not like fucking so much shade. He's he not Bacon. like Tom Cruise or, or nothing. He's not like a, you know. So he ain't like, yeah, Kevin Bacon, ugly motherfucker, man. He's just trying to collect a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Bacon, I think he was doing something creepy in those casting calls. All right. He does hang dong a few times in quite a few movies. That's what I'm saying. I think he I think he was doing something because I don't see how, how this worked out for him. But uh, Petition to make uh, viewing bad movie trailers a segment on this show. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's so, not bad. Everyone go watch it and let me know what you think. Tremors? I've seen Tremors. I've definitely seen Tremors. That shit is terrible. Well, there's a campiness to it that I like. I mean, sometimes movies can be so bad that they are good and yeah. for, for comedic reasons, but Madam I don't Wayne. even think that shit funny. I think, I don't know. I think it's Kevin Bacon, man. He's just, fuck. All right, all right, we out of here. We it's white here. people shit. Tremors, definitely white people shit. No one in the hood is being captivated by that shit. Like, oh shit. Was Sleepers good, though? Uh, I remember liking it. I haven't seen it in a long time. Maybe Sleepers was all right. It's got but, Brad Pitt. Yeah, see, they had to get another sexy nigga. <laughs> he out of here. Yes, yeah, so that that was good. I, I think that was good. That was his big break right there. Robert De Niro, Dustin Hoffman, and they got the nerve to put Kevin Bacon's name at the top. Told you something, <laughs> something went down. Something went down in that casting room. All right, we getting up out of here, man. I love y'all motherfuckers, man. See y'all, same time, same channel. Uh, fuck Kevin Bacon. All right. <laughs> Love y'all. Peace.